my budding chefs from all around the world. This is going to be so exciting, kids. It's going to be brilliant because there's going to be millions of you doing this today. So thank you for taking part of it. Thank you to all of the teachers that have got it ready and the parents and the helpers. So, introducing the Squash It Sandwich. Yes, it's delicious, it's nutritious, it's loads of fun to make, and it's super, super tasty. You guys are all gonna make this. Now, the nice thing is, of course, you might have different shaped or colored vegetables, you might have different breads, and that's all good. We wanna express where you guys come from. Now, the word sandwich, it's a British word for a couple of bits of bread or a roll with some filling, some cheese, some meat, some salad, and then you eat it, and it can be good, or it can be bad, but I want to show you how to make it really, really good. Now, the exciting thing about a sandwich, of course, every single country around the world has their version. In Mexico, in South America, they have the casadilla, which is delicious, and I love it, or the burrito, really, really good. And then in France, they have the baguette, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then, and then what have we got? We've got in America, we have a sub, beautiful. Or in Italy, a panini. Fantastico! So all these countries have a different expression of a sandwich. So it's super cool. Now, how are we gonna do it? Well, we need some stuff. We need some equipment, and we like equipment. We need a chopping board. We need a little knife, a little teaspoon. We need a tea towel. We need a rolling pin, or something like that and heavy and hard, but make sure you don't knock anyone. Uh, we need a bowl. We need some scissors. Be careful, please. Uh, and we need spoons, uh, and we need a bit of space. So you should be ready and raring to go. Now come forth, have a little look at what we've got here. Uh, I've got my lovely seeded rolls here. Uh, we've got lovely radishes. We've got crunchy carrots, beautiful cucumbers, a lovely sweet and crunchy pepper, and apple. Cauliflower, some herbs of your choice, little bit of cress, hello Mr. Cress. Uh, we've got some seeds, you might not have seen those before, and lovely sweet peas. We've got some cheese, hummus, oils, vinegars. So we've got a bunch of things that maybe we haven't seen before. So we're gonna try them, we're gonna taste them, and then we're gonna make this beautiful dish. So, are you ready? I wanna hear you, are you ready? Yeah! Yes! Okay, now, to do this beautiful dish, I'm gonna require some help from some very special young people. Yeah! These are the helpers. How are you doing, kids? Yeah! Are you ready for this? Yeah! Do you know that there's millions of kids watching you down the TV or the screens right now? Are you aware of that? Yeah! So we have to show them how much we love food. Now, do you love food? Yeah! Do you grow food? Yeah! Yes. Do you eat lots of different things? Yeah! Yes. Do you think you're better at me than cooking? Yeah! Yeah, well, that's what I was about to say. We'll see about that. Now, uh, here we have two brain boxes. Who are they? OK. So you're going to be our food historians today, so you can shoot over there. And then I'm left with you lovely four. Are you ready to cook? Yes! Get on your stations. Now, everyone that's watching, the kids around the world, are you ready to cook? Brilliant. Find your spot. Get ready. Take a little deep breath. Deep breath. You ready for it? because this is a very exciting recipe. We've got a lot of ripping, tearing, bashing, squashing, tasting, and then a lot of eating. Right, let's find out who these lovely young people are from Charlton Manor School in London. Okay, what's your name? My name's James. Mm. My name is Ria. My name's Destiny. I'm a kid. And over there? My name's Elizabeth. My name's George. Nice, that's what we like to hear. Is everyone happy in the house? Yeah! Woo! Okay, so let's start this recipe. First up, this lovely sandwich. Mr. Cameraman, are you hungry? Okay, there you go, little early lunch for you. Now, let's start the recipe. First up, we need a little bit of knife confidence. Being safe and controlled with a knife is very, very important. First, let's have a little tap, please. Everyone. Okay, I need you to cut the radishes. So the radishes are these little babies here, look at that. That's what we're talking about, okay? So guys, if you can grab it, I'll show you the first one, just half it, and when I'm cutting, I'm putting my fingers either side, and I put the knife in the middle, like that, and then we slice it in half, and then you can just slice it up into little bits. The other thing is, guys, just copy what I'm doing, like that. If you've got nice little green parts like this, if they're really fresh and beautiful, 
right? We can keep those and we can eat those. Uh, and if they don't look very nice, then we put them in our bowl. Now, guys, this is the compost bowl, okay? So, we're going to slice this up and just chop them. So, I'm going to leave you to that. Are you all good with that? Yeah. Do you think you can do that, guys? Yeah. Okay. Can you do that? Brilliant. While you're doing that, let's learn a little bit about radishes. Okay, guys, what have we got here then? There's one called the French breakfast, which refers to the French habit of eating them sliced with butter or bread in the morning. In the morning? Have you ever had a radish for breakfast? Maybe we're missing out on something. Have you had these for breakfast? Mm -mm. What have you got in your hand there? The Spanish radishes are black. Oh. Wow. I've never seen a radish like that. Have you? <laughs> Should we have a look inside? Yeah. Let's get my knife. Wowzers! Look at that! It looks like a melon inside. Yeah, it does. It's black on the outside, but white on the inside. It's bonkers. Look how exciting it is. What else have we got? Have we got anything else? Um, this is a daikon. Oh, my Lord! Wow! Some people call this a muli as well. This is from Japan or parts of Asia. Unbelievable. Look at the size of that! From that to that. That's incredible. And they're both radishes. What else have we got? We've got the Chinese radish. The Chinese radish. Wow, the green radish. Look at that. Wowzers, should we have a look inside this one? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that colour. Incredible. How exciting is that? OK, anything else? And we have the watermelon radish. The watermelon radish. I've never heard of that, have you? Mm. It's, like a, it's like a golf ball. Should we have a look? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> now that, guys, is why food is exciting, because look, how cool is that? Imagine going down the supermarket and getting some of those. Beautiful. OK, you've been very, very useful. I've got to get back and make the sandwich. Are you ready over there? Yeah! OK, so, let me come and check what you've been doing. Very good, very good. Oh, my Lord, what happened there? Ha, <laughs> just joking. OK, so, uh, we have chopped the radishes. Guys, grab a bowl. Uh, and we're going to put the chopped radishes into the bowl, OK? We're just going to put all the nice chopped things in there for the moment to keep it all out of the way. Next up, what's this, guys? Cucumber. Nice. Get the teaspoon, and I want you to kind of take out that soft, watery inside, OK? So just scoop it out and make a little tunnel. Can you do that? Yeah. When you've done that, just get all the kind of stuff from the inside and put that into our compost. Nice. The concentration on their faces. Look at it. Very well done. Lovely. Right. OK, so guys, back onto knife skills. We're going to slice up the cucumber into little slices like this. Little question. If you're using a knife, that's potentially dangerous, yeah? Hands up. What's the hand action for? Um, you, have to, you have to put the... F um, you have to have a flat surface on the board because if you have it upside down and then you try and cut, you might slip and then you might hurt yourself. The kid's a genius. <laughs> Are you psychic? Did you know what I was going to say? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Very, very true. Always find a flat edge. OK, now let's find out about some cucumber action. Darling, what's happening? This is a hot house cucumber. A hot house cucumber. What else do you know about cucumbers? India has round yellow variety called Dosakai. Right. Japan has melon-shaped cucumbers, crispy shuyo cuecumbers and super bumpy soyao nishiki. Well read. Very, very nice. And here we have a lovely... What's this? Lebanese cucumber. You're, you're better at reading than I am. I'm a little bit dyslexic. This is a Lebanese cucumber, thanks to our lovely friend here. What have you got, big boy? I've got a Kerala. Uh, just a minute, what is that? I've got a Kerala. Well, well, it looks like some sort of alien. Yeah. So where does this come from? It comes from India and it, they, they can also call it a bitter melon. A bitter melon. Wowzers, anything else I need to know about in the cucumber world? Look at all these different things. This is three very different cucumbers. Any more? This is a cornichon. A cornichon? Oh, ha, ha, ha. This is a French one. I like cornichons, you? Pickle. What do you mean, ew? It's delicious. A cornichon 
are small French pickled cucumbers. Yeah, they're definitely small. Would you want to try one? Yeah. I'd like to. Crunchy, mm. vinegary. Imagine that in a cheese sandwich. In a little baguette. Mm -hmm. I went down the wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> are you finished over there? Yes! Are you finished over there? Yes! Good chopping, good chopping. Right, let's get the cucumbers into our shared bowl. In it goes. And next up, the carrot. Have a little look at that. We've got half a carrot here. Again, we put it onto the flat edge. And I want you just to slice it up a little bit into little centimetre slices. Okay, so are you alright to do the carrots? Yes! Right, time to learn a little bit about carrots. Over to you guys. Um, this is a big carrot. This is a small carrot. This is, a, this is an ugly carrot. What do you mean ugly? Well, it's got feelings. This one's got three legs. It looks like a pig trotter. Well, that's nice. So you've got different shapes and sizes of carrots. Very nice. What else have you got in the carrot world? We have a yellow and black carrots. Black carrots... No, 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 no. Yellow? Yellow carrots? Whoosh. Hmm. Let's have a little look here. Let's cut it open. Um, yellow carrots. That's amazing. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Can you see this, guys? Yeah. Yellow carrots. Unbelievable. What else have we got? We have black carrots. Black carrots are grown and consumed in Turkey, Afghanistan, Egypt, Pakistan and in the <coughs> Far East. You know so much. Anyway, look at that. Absolutely incredible. So I think it's time for a little set of red, purple carrot eyes. Hold them in front of your eyes. Hold. hold. Purple, purple carrots, carrots are cool. cool. Yeah, they're very, very cool. If you make goggles out of them. But look at the colour. Absolutely beautiful. All right. What else have we got? The longest carrot is 5.8 metres. 5.8 metres? That's like... That's longer than me with you on my shoulders and you on her shoulders and him and her on your shoulder. That's massive. Well, should we get on with the salad? Yep. Nice. How are you doing? Good. OK. Get your carrots in your bowl. Well done. Now it's time for the cauliflower. So I just want you to take the stalk off and just cut the stalk into little pieces and then break up the little flowers or the little florets. Can you do that? Yeah. Brilliant. OK. So, what should we know about cauliflowers then, guys? There's small ones. And there's big ones. There's even green. Green? Wowzers. And there's also purple ones, yellow ones, and they're incredible. So food really doesn't have to be boring. And they all come from seeds. And you can grow them, and they don't cost any more to grow. So, if you can grow some at home, it's so much fun. So, cauliflower, really, really good. We're going to get that into our bowl. You can throw the peas in as well, guys. Ready, guys? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. OK, everyone hold their peppers up. Pepper time, guys. So what we need to do is just take the seedy part and the stalk out like that, and this can go into our little compost bin. Just throw it over there. And then any of these little white bits here and seeds, we can just pull off. Brilliant. Good work, guys. Then we're going to use our knife to cut down lengthwise into little slithers. And then as soon as you've done your pepper, Let's throw these into the bowl while I find out a little bit about the world of peppers. You okay, everyone? Yeah. Okay, do you guys know anything about peppers? This, this is the Romero, and in Italy, the bell peppers look like this, and over here they're like this. Right. There's quite a big difference, and you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. Look at these. Oh, my Lord, look at the colours, guys. And again, look how different shapes and sizes. Did you know they were so beautiful? You did? Oh, I should have known that. Did you know they were so beautiful? No. no, look at the colours. What else have you got there? Scotch bonnet. This one's the spiciest pepper. You want to open it? Yeah. If I open this one, you can't touch it. Uh, chilies are really hot. And if you cut it open, if you touch it with your hands and you rub your eyes, it's really, really stingy. Well done. That was really, really good. OK, back to you guys. You ready? Yeah! Nice. So, fruit. What fruit is this, guys? Apple! Yeah, that's easy. So we've got a quarter of an apple, uh, and what we want to do is decore it. So you can do this with a knife by just taking it out, or you can put it down 
just use a little teaspoon and dig into it and pull it off, get rid of the stalk and all those little bits and we get rid of that into the compost and then simply slice in half and chop it up. And you've guessed it, it goes in the bowl with the other stuff. Good work, guys. Okay, the wonderful world of apples, guys. What do you know about apples? There are more than 7,000 different varieties of apple on the planet. How many? More than 7,000. 7,000? The world's top apple producers are China, US, Turkey, Poland and Italy. Nice. Look at all these different colours. They're amazing. Really, really cool. And they've all got different flavours, different, you know, textures, different colours. Look at... It looks like a potato wrapper. It does. That looks like a russet. What else you got? This is called a Brayburn. I've got a Golden Delicious. Nice. So look, look at all this. I mean... The apples, the peppers, the carrots, the cauliflowers. What have we learned about all these incredible vegetables today? Different colours, different shapes, Absolutely. different sizes. And do you think that makes food boring or exciting? Wonderful. Nice. Great. Love. And amazing. The best thing in the world. The best thing in the world? Pucker. Nice. OK, so are we ready for the fun bit? Yeah! yeah. Who's got lots of energy? Put your hands up. Me! Right, have you got energy at home? Because this is really, really important. So, we're going to now squash and bash these beautiful veggies and it's going to get all the flavours going. It's going to make it all kind of uneven and kind of not perfect but beautiful. So, you ready? What we need to do is just take, make a little bit of room around us. So take our rolls and put it to one side. Take our little herbs and put it to one side. Have a little clean down and if there's any bits and pieces, just put them into our compost bowl like this. Nice, we have a little clean down before it all goes a little bit crazy. Ballistic. Ballistic. Nice word. Ballistic, okay. So, you ready? Get your tea towel. It's got to be a nice clean tea towel. Have a little wow. flap. I want to see you flapping. Okay, we're going to lay this down and then we're going to put half of this mixture. Remember, what we want to do is just mix this all up. So, get your fingers in here and just mix it up. That's it from the bottom to the top. Beautiful. So I'm going to put mine in the middle of the tea towel. Okay. Now the reason we're going to bash it up, it's quite unconventional, but it's really nice because it kind of cracks and bashes up uh, the fruit and the veg. It really helps getting all the flavours going uh, and I really like it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, what I do now is I pull up the sides. So pull up the corners like this. You want to feel where the veggies are and just hold it like that. That's it. We can all do it slightly different, but whatever you do, make sure the vegetables don't shoot out of a little hole or the side. Okay. I want you to grab this. Are you ready? And now it's time to make a little bit of noise. Now, you have to be careful. Don't hit each other. Watch where your hands are going. Don't uh, hit also, your hand. don't. What were you going to say? Don't hit your hand. Don't hit your hand, okay? Because that will make you want to cry. Uh, and don't hit my hand because then I will cry. <laughs> Not funny, by the way. So, get your rolling pin, and we're just going to start bashing it. Kids around the world, all bashing. Come on, let's do it. Ah, stop. <laughs> Beautiful. That was amazing. So, hopefully you're all still in one piece around the world. Okay, look what's happened in here to all these fruits and veggies. We've crushed it, but we've got all of those flavours going as well. Okay, so now, let me give you a recipe for a salad dressing that works every single time. We want one tablespoon, and this is when we're going to use a tablespoon as a measure, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, but of course you could use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, you could use lemon juice, lime juice, but I'm using balsamic because I find that people that are a bit younger love it. And then we use one tablespoon of olive oil, okay, and we can toss our salad into that. How much balsamic vinegar goes into that bowl? One, one tablespoon. Yes, one tablespoon. And how much olive oil goes into this bowl? One, one tablespoon. Everyone can remember that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get some herbs. Now you can pick any herb you want. Can you think of any herbs? Do you know their names? Mint. Mint? That is mint. Well done. What else? 
Parsley. Parsley? You're brilliant, yes. Rosemary. Rosemary, yes. Thyme. Thyme. <laughs> so pick the herbs. I want you to pick just the leaves off. And you can have a mixture of herbs, or you can have one. And just tear it up in your hand and put it into your salad dressing. And you can use basil, mint, dill, any of those things. So we tear that in and we give it a little stir. Now, can you guys remember what the recipe was? Yep, one tablespoon. And if you can do one. Oh, I love this. And when you're doing the tablespoon, always do it over the bowl so you don't spill any. Hold it up. There you go. Now give it to your friend and he can do the vinegar. It smells like oil. That's okay. Nice. So one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. The concentration. Stop. <laughs> right, mate, you're going to do the balsamic then? Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. Now, are you going to tear your herbs in? Stir it up. Good work, guys. Very good work. Now we're nearly there. Everyone okay? Yeah. yeah. Yay! Who's ever had sunflower seeds before? We're just going to take a little sprinkling of those into our dressing. Have some of those. Yeah, you take a little bit and then I'll take a little bit. I'm going to put this. Really, really nice. In you go. Nice. So, last but not least, cress. Yes. Have a look at this. Who likes cress here? Very nice. So what we're going to do is we've grown our cress here. We're going to use our scissors very carefully. We're going to go to the base and we're going to just put that into our lovely salad bowl like that. Can you do yours? Yeah. So there's yours. So snip those in. While you guys are doing that, let's find out a little bit about growing cress. Guys, over to you. We've got cress growing in all different stages. It takes before it's ready to pick. This is three days growing and this is five days growing. And then they don't take very long to grow, do they? Mm. How old is this one? Ooh. About 12 days, I think. Have yeah, a try. it's very good. Yeah, it's it's good. like crunchy yeah, and it's a little it's bit nice. mustardy. Yeah. Nice. Mm. And if you're super nice, uh, uh, kids, ask your teacher or your mum or dad if you can grow some cress or radishes. Uh, cress is brilliant because it grows so fast, doesn't it? Now watch our video of Cress going really fast. And a cute smile. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, so now we're going to make this sandwich, we're going to put some hummus and we're going to put that on the bottom of two of our rolls like that and that's going to make it really, really tasty and it's really, really good for you. And then on the top bit of the roll, that's the round bit like that, we're going to put some cottage cheese. Now this is really, really good for you, especially when you're young, great for your growing bones and stuff like that. We want to get that lovely squash it salad and we want to put it onto the hummus. That's it, pile it up with the veg, really stack it up with the veg and make a little pyramid. There we go. And then it's time to make your gorgeous squash it sandwich. There you go, flip it on. Now it's time to have a bite. Good luck guys, get stuck in. Everyone get stuck in. Just tuck in and enjoy it. Really yummy, all the veggies are super tasty. The hummus is lovely and the cheese is gorgeous. It's going to be a little bit messy. So make sure you get yourself a plate and a napkin. Thanks ever so much for doing this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Lots of love. Good luck wherever you are in the world. Now, just eat it. So that's it, guys. Smash it. Be brilliant. Try and do some of the growing if you can, the radishes and the crest, and more if you can. Good luck. Take care. And remember, 
share what you've done. Bye guys, good luck, thank you.